What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be comparing a 2018 CLA 45 to my 2019 AMG GTS. Before we begin, I just want to say, the CLA 45 and the GTS, they both have stage one tunes from Eurocharged. The CLA 45 is a four cylinder, it's pumping out around 430 horsepower and 610 newton meters of torque. And my GTS is an eight cylinder with 625 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. The GTS is rear wheel drive. The CLA 45 is all wheel drive. The CLA 45 weighs 3,660 pounds and the GTS weighs 3,600 and like 27 pounds. So the GTS is about 30 pounds lighter. And as you can see over here, hopefully you can see, but the ground is wet because we just had some flash flooding last night. We're gonna go do a zero to 60 in both of our cars and then we'll do a little bit of a drag race and then just like a verbal explanation as to why you probably don't even need a GTS if you're trying to get into the AMG brand. Believe it or not, but the CLA 45 is actually more aerodynamic compared to my GTS. The GTS has a drag coefficient of 0.365 and the CLA 45 has a drag coefficient of like 0.21 or something. And that means the CLA 45 is more aerodynamic. And the reason for that could just be because the GTS has more downforce, a bigger wing, wider body, stuff like that. I'm really excited to see what this drag race is gonna be like because the ground is wet. I have rear wheel drive. The CLA 45 is only slightly heavier, but it has four wheel drive and it's more aerodynamic. Hey guys, my name is Smith. This is my 2018 CLA 45 AMG. Um, Looks absolutely it. beautiful. How long have you had it for? Uh, around three years now. Bought it in 2018. It's 2021, so yeah, I think that's three years. The half red, half black looks absolutely killer. Any issues, any problems, things you like, things you don't like about the CLA 45? Um, I don't know. I just like, I guess the price point. Uh, by no means is it like a very cheap car, but it's very, I don't know, it's a good entry to get into like the AMG family. Um, so that's definitely one of the best things I love about it. I love just how fun it is compared to just the price. Um, obviously, I would like to get an E63 and stuff like that, but um, one of my favorite things about it would just be kind of its value proposition. Um, I it's agree. just so fun to drive. Um, it's very low maintenance, I would say, for just how much fun you're getting back. One of the things I don't like about it is gotta be the interior. Um, it's nice, it's got a little bit of red in there, but definitely just dated. It's not as nice as any of the new Benzes that's coming out, but I would say the interior has gotta be one of my least favorite things on the car. The actual performance of it, like doing launch control for the first time, that was a <laughs> pleasant surprise. Nice. I never expected it to really go yeah, that it fast. Yeah, it Yeah. Um, the sound of the car was just really, really good from the factory. Like I didn't really have to do much to it to get it to a point where I, I was enjoying it a lot. Like off the lot, it was just really good. And I found that pleasantly surprising because thinking like, oh, it's a baby AMG. Like it's really, um, I don't know, just really small entry level car. Like I thought that would be kind of annoying to kind of do a lot of stuff to it. But I think just what it offers from factory is really, really good. Um, I think the transmission is annoying to really warm up. It takes forever. To warm oh, really? up yeah i know and so that if it's not really warmed up it just shifts really really slow even though it's like a even in comfort mode and stuff? yeah comfort mode sport mode too if it's not warm um it's a seven speed dual clutch transmission um which so it's supposed to shift fast and it does that when it's warm but it can be kind of jerky and kind of uh, quirky at low speeds and when it's not warm so that's definitely annoying especially gotcha living in mass where like half the year is cold winter so true someone is watching us like usual every single time i come here to shoot a I know, video I know. people just stare <laughs> i mean i don't blame them because the cars are beautiful but yeah, it's like yeah. we're gonna get some pretty sick angles with this thing so i'm really excited i really want a drone now we'll see how the footage comes out <laughs> this is my first time ever seeing drone footage <laughs> that is so cool like ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick you can get high with me that's a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 <laughs> We got the draggy out. Now it's time for a zero to 60. Ooh. Oh, this is this is a good time. 4.3. Okay. 
it 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 doesn't feel like four. It literally it feels like three point five. Yeah, yeah. Ben's claims four point one from the factory. These are all the shock numbers. Motor Trend, Car and Drive, and all the magazines test it consistently get a three eight out of it. And so what I'm assuming with the tune. We should be getting around like three seven ideally. Yeah. But but as you heard, know. there's we heard some tire screeching. Yeah. So there's little no struggle there, but so maybe we'll four point three is good, but I'll time it on my editor too, just in yes. case. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yep. Oh. Okay, see this this is like eight point seven seconds. Nah, nah no, no, that thing needs to get calibrated, man. <laughs> Brown or Raja, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes hit record. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the miss, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring, I got a whole lot Okay. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Like, here you go. Thank you. Why does it just sound so insanely good? That can't be real. What? That is so <laughs> quick. Oh, I'm gonna get decimated in this track. <laughs> So, do you even need an AMG GTS? Well, if you're looking to get into the AMG brand, the CLA45 is a great car. Its four-cylinder power plant launches the car to 60 miles per hour consistently under four seconds on dry pavement, and it's a great daily driver. Today, I honestly thought the CLA45 would win since it has all-wheel drive and the ground was kind of wet but somehow the GTS hooked up and took the dub. Overall, Mercedes AMG has more to offer than just V8s. The CLA45 has half the cylinders, but that doesn't mean it's half the fun. The CLA45 is a great car for the price. What do you think? Would you spend triple the amount of money on a GTS? Let's discuss it in the comments. So out of line with the phrase game Let's take a break, been a long day Hit your line with your fog, with the light sticks Maybe help me spark the ideas We got